right now with what more we're learning. Hey, good evening, Dominique. Uh, I've spent some of the afternoon here in the Houghton area. When we got word that the old Mogi police were saying there was an crime scene here in Louisiana and that the uh, suspect in this case, Adam Dinsmore, with roots here in Houghton, this is where we headed. Now, I, just, I will want to clarify this. I just got off the phone with Lieutenant Bill Davis, the spokesperson with Bossier Parish Sheriff's Office, and I flat out asked him, is there a crime scene, as the Oklahoma officials called it, he, he didn't say necessarily a scene. However, they have spent time talking with the Densmore family here in Houghton, as you would imagine, after they were contacted by Boulder police. Now, I'm here at, just outside the East Highland Mobile Home Park, and we have some video we can show you because just a short time ago, I located where Adam Densmore used to live about a decade ago, along with his family here inside this mobile home park. And it just happened upon a person that lived right next door to Adam. That's Bruce right there. Uh, Bruce says he really, he vividly remembers the Dinsmore's wonderful family and also vividly remembers Adam Dinsmore, who would have been in his early 20s back then. But this is how Bruce, who used to invite Adam over to his home from time to time, this is how Bruce remembers Adam Dinsmore. Adam, he was kind of a strange kid. He's more or less to himself and uh, he, I kind of felt sorry for him because he's all the time sitting around, he, but he did, he always smoked dope all the time. He was probably pretty much into drugs a lot. But it's kind of strange for me to realize that he, uh, if he's, you know, found guilty or whatever of this, that is kind of strange for me to, to believe, but also uh, taking in the fact that he was strange. And again, just understand, this is his perception, how he remembers Adam Densmore some 10 years ago when the family used to live right next door to him. Speaking of, I went to the Densmore house tonight in the Country Place subdivision just down Highway 80 here. Uh, it's not a pleasurable thing to do as a reporter to go knock on the door, but I'd be remiss if I didn't reach out to the family, knocked on the door, a female came to the door and said, we don't have anything to say, and then promptly closed the door. But I have confirmed with Bossier Parish Sheriff's Office, they too have been in communication with that same family here over the last couple of days, being contacted, I'm told, literally a very short time after Adam Dinsmore is believed to have left this area, the Houghton area, back on February 15th. Quick note, and not trying to make any kind of crazy stretch here, while I was in this mobile home park, I had a neighbor remind me and said, you remember about seven years ago, there was a young lady who went missing. She lived in the East Highland Mobile Home Park. Her body, now there's been some uh, dispute over whether it was dismembered, was found in the Red Chute Bayou just beyond this mobile home park. I have brought that to the attention of the Sheriff's Office today. Uh, they said there's no, I, no connection whatsoever that they're aware of, but at the same time, with all this on the front burners, they honestly haven't given that a thought. I did try to reach out to uh, Nancy Miller's family. You may remember this young lady went missing seven years ago from this mobile home park and with her body was later found in the Red Chute Bayou. It could just be one gigantic coincidence, but that certainly is something perhaps the sheriff's office may at least look at. They said at that time no foul play was su suspected, but then again, they didn't really have a lot of answers into her death. Again, that being back in 2010 and the fact that she just lived a handful of trailers down from the Dinsmores back during that time. Again, uh, no word from the Dinsmore family tonight, obviously not wanting to go on record with this, but uh, certainly very uh, good insight into Adam Dinsmore and what this neighbor right next door who spent a lot of time with him thinks about the suspect in this murder case spanning across multiple states. Dominique.